Hi everybody, welcome. My name is Perry Smith. I'm here at the Guitar World Studios in New York. And today in this video, I'm gonna be giving you some tips on solo jazz guitar playing. Just some ideas that I have that might give you some, some help in approaching uh, playing a song solo. First thing I wanted to mention is it's really crucial, I think, to be able to use uh, your fingers when you're playing solo jazz guitar, not just be able to use a pick. So if you're like me and you play with a pick, uh, you want to try to develop a hybrid technique so you can also use your fingers so you can get into sounds like this. Okay, using the fingers is super important to develop that hybrid technique. Um, also, when you're, when you're playing solo, one approach you can take is to kind of break up playing single note lines and then going back to chords, and then playing single note lines and going back to chords. I'll kind of demonstrate this a little bit. As simple as that is a great way to kind of get started with an approach for solo jazz guitar. The second thing, I, or last thing I was going to say, is something that I really picked up from the great Joe Pass, uh, and that is don't be afraid to go in and out of the time and use something called rubato. He used to do this a lot when he would play solo. He would play a song like Night and Day, and then all of a sudden it would be rubato, be out of time, and he would go back into the time. And it creates a lot of wonderful context and contrast and uh, tension in the, in the music, I think that's really good. I'll give you a quick example. So I'm going to start in time. Go out of time. So that kind of gives you another approach to take. Well, I'm going to perform an entire song here. I'm going to play some of the changes to one of my favorite tunes to play solo, uh, Body and Soul. <laughs> Alright guys, I hope that gave you some good ideas. Thanks for tuning in.